and I welcome you back to the Debritic channel and today we are talking about the Mississippi River there is crazy things going on at the Mississippi River as the level continues to drop it is creating all kinds of problems and we're going to get right into it there is good news there has been some rain up north so eventually this will change but New Orleans could potentially be in big trouble if this drought pushes further now there was some rain so it will come up but for how long there's not a lot of rain in the forecast beyond that so we'll be watching to see what happens but what's going on is the current of the Mississippi River holds back the water from coming upstream from the Gulf of Mexico what's happening is since the current has slowed and the Mississippi is not near as muddy as it once was now it's creating big problems for people that are living in New Orleans the Mississippi has a cool blue green to it instead of a muddy water that it normally has more than a third of the rain in the United States ends up in the Mississippi Mississippi River systems so with little or no rainfall coming from the Midwest the drought is causing problems along the river I have talked about in past videos that there has been groundings up river and there has been very little navigation once you get beyond st. Louis there's just no more lock and dams they use these things called rock berms that go way out into the water that holds back the Mississippi to mainly kind of keep it like a lake but usually there's enough flow to not worry about that this. this has happened several times now that the water is slowing down new orleans fresh water is being compromised and this is problematic and as a matter of fact Plaquemines Parish down in New Orleans declared a state of emergency for drinking water and there's an advisory because what's going on it, the river's not able to hold back the Gulf of Mexico's water like it normally does. Normally there's so much force that it just keeps the Gulf of Mexico's water out. Every year it starts to come up. The Army Corps of Engineers is fighting it. For one, they're bringing in some desalination units to help keep the salt out of the manufactured water and for two, they're building a a submergible levee. They're taking sand from the riverbed and then they're building a big levee underneath to hold back the salt water. It starts from the bottom and works its way up and then it slowly goes to the pipe that runs in. So they have done this in the past now. They have built underwater levees in the past in 1988, 1999, and 2012. This will be the fourth time and I remember 88 was the worst. Many barges ran aground in 88 if I recall. They're saying that the salt water is is at the bottom and then the current's at the top so the current basically keeps the salt from coming in and this is a big problem this is exactly why they stopped the Mississippi from running down the Atchafalaya which is to keep New Orleans alive and now they run into this problem this is not the first time so we'll see what happens some experts are saying that the saltwater intrusion could become more frequent because they continue to dredge all the time which allows the saltwater to move faster it's only happened four times 88 99 2012 and now 2022 so there's more rain that just happened next year we could be flooding and we could be talking about a whole different situation they complain whenever it rains they complain when it's a drought come on people just get with the program so if you were wondering about the levee under the sea they say well for now the underwater levee will remain in place until the mississippi river has enough flow to eventually wash it away and it will not affect cargo real short video tonight thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one god bless